In this video, I'll be sharing updates on essential hidden gem mods and must-have mods that you shouldn't miss. I'll quickly bring you up to speed on any hidden gems and updates you might have overlooked, so make sure to pin the channel, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. First up is the AI Overhaul SSE News. The mod enhances the behavior of many vanilla NPCs to be more realistic and immersive. The latest update, version 1.8.4, released on September 15, 2023, includes AI adjustments for NPCs like Rogvir, Svari, and Captain Aldous. Additionally, there were updates and optimizations to the AIO package data. Be sure to check the TestNexus changelog for more details. Next is the SMP NPC Crash Fix. Uploaded on May 18, 2023, this mod addresses various crashes caused by conflicts when using physics-based hair for NPCs alongside faster SMP. It remains the latest version to date. If you've experienced crashes due to NPC physics-based hair, consider checking out this mod. Next up, we have Skyrim Landscape and Water Fixes. This mod rectifies numerous graphic glitches in the Tamriel world space, such as occasional empty spaces caused by mesh imperfections between terrain and cliffs. The update to version 8.1.1 on September 27, 2023 includes further refinement and enhancements to more cells. Be sure to give it a look. And here's an update on Power of 3's Tweaks 1.8.1, it was released on September 28, 2023. They replaced the Editor ID map with a faster implementation and made modifications to Offensive Spell AI. Additionally, support for Skyrim version 1.6.353 has been discontinued. Next up is the update for Power of 3's Papyrus Extender 5.6.1. This mod was updated on July 25, 2023. They fixed a serialization bug, causing infinite loading screens in some settings. Various annotations conditions were added, and several improvements were made. It's worth checking out for sure. Continuing with Base Object Swapper 2.6.1 Update News. This mod serves as a framework enabling various object models to be displayed. It was updated to version 2.6.1 on August 29, 2023. The update addresses an issue where editor ID was being processed as none in specific situations and fixed a problem where transformation override rotations were not being applied. Next, we have the update for Open Animation Replacer 2.0.2. Also known as OAR, this SKSE framework plugin allows for the replacement of animations based on configurable conditions. It was updated to version 2.0.2 .2 on September 2, 2023. The update addresses potential conflicts due to paired animations and resolves collisions caused by missing meshes directory, among various other improvements and error fixes. Moving on to paired animation improvements 1.0.1, .1, this SKSE plugin ensures that annotated events in paired animations function as they do in normal animations. Like OAR, it was also updated on September 2, 2023, to fix VR collision issues caused by incorrect memory offsets. Next up is the update for Skyland AIO 4.31. This mod stands out for its comprehensive, high-quality, and high-resolution texture overhaul, covering everything from landscapes to dungeons and all structures. The latest version, released on September 24, 2023, includes adjustments to file paths for various meshes, along with enhancements to normal maps and specular maps, further solidifying its status as an exceptional replacer. It's definitely worth checking out. Next, I'm pleased to share the update news for the innovative follower framework, Nether's Follower Framework. 
This framework allows for up to 10 followers with minimal resource usage, enabling immersive adventures with a small character team. It enhances quality of life features and more. The mod was updated to version 2.8.5 on August 28, 2023. This update includes new features like followers using catch-up mode even when not in combat, but the player is, and introduces a method to move stubborn followers. Various other adjustments and fixes have been made, so it's definitely worth checking out. Next, we have the update news for Particle Patch for ENB 1.2.6. This mod comes with patching features, correcting object meshes in Skyrim with incorrectly set shaders or blending properties to react to the right parameters. It aims to address at least the most glaring discrepancies, making objects appear as intended, whether brighter or darker. In this update, they've made improvements to custom textures for light fog effects and also made a change to ensure the plugin is always installed. Next, let me introduce you to two recently highlighted outfit mods on Nexus. First up is the Coco Witchiness Outfit. This unique set was created by the talented outfit creator, Coco, featuring a magical and sorcerous style. Each part supports body sliders, and the skirt features HDT SMP physics. The top is a form-fitting corset with transparent lace detail at the chest and decorative buckles and chains at the bottom of the corset. The skirt extends from the waist down to the knees, designed long both at the front and back, with floral patterns decorating the hem. The gloves reach up to the elbows with exposed fingertips. Jewels adorn the wrists, secured by a leather belt. The boots rise up to the ankles and have pointed heels at the back. They are decorated with lace and ribbons, enhancing the character's beauty even further. Next, we have the L Hot Style Kimono Outfit. This outfit adds a sexy and glamorous kimono style adorned with floral patterns and ribbons. It offers a variety of colors, and the floral decorations are particularly striking. The outfit beautifully captures the traditional Japanese garment, the kimono, and complements the character's skin tone. With support for 3BA body, you can customize it to fit your body perfectly. Thank you for joining me in discovering essential, hidden gem Skyrim mods and the latest updates. Through these updates and hidden gem mods, I hope your Skyrim experience is truly elevated. Subscribing, liking, and enabling notifications greatly support the channel, and sponsoring via Patreon contributes significantly to video production. Until next time, happy adventuring in Skyrim.